For those of you looking for a more relaxed and basic and pared down puzzle game, then Rayland 2 might be one for you. It's a sequel to, you guessed it, Rayland, oh yes. And the idea behind this is that you're using mirror blocks to redirect lasers around to get the laser from its transmitter to its kind of end game lens at the end. The lens has a very specific point in, so it can't be that you just hit the lens at any angle. It has to be the one where it's got the little black hole in. And so what that does is it sets you up to work out, okay, I can only bend lasers at right angles. How do I set up the maps of where my laser is going to go to reach the right position? This game is definitely on the easier side of the puzzle spectrum. If Muggins, like me, is able to get through the 50 stages relatively unfazed, then pretty much everyone else can because I am an Essex blonde. <laughs> So yeah, just bear that in mind. This is probably a very easy platinum for most people and I'm sure there's some guides out there already. Uh, it's cross-buy for PS4 and PS5 so you do get two versions of the game. I didn't notice any difference between the two and I have to say actually the fact that you can zoom in and out and rotate the level around it looks nice and pristine and shiny so I was happy from the graphical standpoint on both sides of the game. Or both, both versions of the game should I say, sorry. So Rayland 2 starts off exceptionally easy, giving you one laser and a couple of cubes to rotate around. Now it doesn't even need you to rotate stuff at the beginning, but very quickly you'll start to see a little nodule poking out on your cube and that's where you're directing the laser to. So you'll pick up the cubes that you want, rotate them around, decide where you want to point the laser to and off and away you go. The very early levels almost solve themselves for you because the way how the level is designed Sometimes there's only one way to get round stuff, so you just drop the cubes in wherever you're going and it solves itself. Where the game starts to get a little bit more interesting is when a second type of laser comes in, so you'll have like red and blue, and then you'll start to get green lasers added in from like level 31 onwards. And the idea behind that is that obviously some you can't have cubes dealing with multiple colours and lasers so you have to make sure that they cross thread over each other without causing problems or running into each other. The other thing the game does that um, tries to add in difficulty but actually it then starts to almost solve itself again is it adds in blocks that you can't get the laser to go through so it almost paints out the map of which you need to take because the levels are quite small but then there's also these blocks that have got a cut out hole in the middle and nine times out of ten you'll have to shoot a laser through it so it, not all levels go down this route but most of them if you take those into account you'll be able to solve the level by going well at some point one of the lasers has got to go through there so I'll start building around from that I did appreciate the fact that you can also solve a level backwards by starting at the end point and working your way back around again, which was quite cool. And I also like the fact that if you do accidentally start crossing over colours and it all kind of collapsing in together, it kind of creates a nice little rainbow sheen of stuff too. Um, very minimalistic music and sound, but does the job. And yeah, it was just a nice relaxed puzzle game. There's nothing massively like groundbreaking about this at all it's just nicely well put together definitely on the easier side of the spectrum and two easy platinums if you fancy it on playstation particularly it's available on other consoles but yeah nice little one to uh round out the day potentially i'll leave you with some more gameplay footage after the score take care Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network, a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash higher plane network. Your support makes all the difference and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.